a deep breath and put aside any thoughts of your day. Take another deep breath and feel your body sink deeper into your seat. Take yet another deep breath and hold it for the count of five before exhaling. Now begin to breathe naturally and bring your awareness to your belly. Feel the fire that burns in your second chakra. This is the chakra which aids us in aligning with our creativity, which is the driving energy for manifesting our desires. That chakra is located below your belly button and above your hip line. With your awareness there, take note of the color of that chakra. The second chakra is typically a vibrant orange. Yours may be different in color and that's okay. The important part is that it is vibrant and that it is moving. It may be pulsing, rotating, or blossoming like a flower. As long as there is motion and vibrancy, your second chakra is activated. But what if it isn't? You can easily fix that. It's as easy as breathing. Feel how alive 
the air around you is. It is the blessed presence of spirit. Feel it against your skin and breathe it in. Keeping your awareness on your second chakra, allow each breath of charged air to flow right to your second chakra. As you exhale, imagine stagnant energy is being released from your body. Inhale and flow pure light energy to the center of creativity and joy. Exhale and release anything that doesn't feed it. Do this a few more times until you can see and feel your second chakra coming alive. You can use this energy technique anytime you need to boost the joy and creativity in your life. It's also good for increasing your libido and increasing your chances of getting pregnant. But for today, you're using the energy of your second chakra to charge your intention candle and your honey water. The intention candle releases your desire to the universe and the honey water infuses you with your desire. This is how to increase the power of your incantation. Now let's write an incantation. Incantations are similar to affirmations, but they pack a whole lot of more power in those words. You aren't just affirming it's true, you're giving birth to it. Like the mama who's crying out in the birthing room, you are bringing forth your desire into your physical reality. Let's take a look at the paper that you just drew the circle on. Starting in the upper right quadrant, write down the first word you think of when you think of Earth. When you think of Earth, what is the first word that you comes to mind for you? quadrant right below it, write down the first word you think of when you think of water. In the quadrant of your circle beside water, write the first word that comes to you when you think of fire. In the quadrant above that, write down the word that comes to you when you think of air. Looking at the words you wrote down, in the space around those words, you can draw in signs and symbols and supporting words for your desire. For now, Let's create an incantation. You're going to want to make your incantation one or two words at most. You're going to want to make your incantation one or two sentences at most. It should flow in the same direction as you wrote the words. Earth, water, fire, and air. This is the same direction the, the earth moves around the sun. You are aligning with that same energy. For instance, my words were solid, wash, charge, and blow in that order. So the incantation I came up with is upon solid ground, I build my dreams, washed in golden light, charged by love so bright, they blow right to me. 
Take a few minutes now and write your incantation. time go ahead and pause the video at this point and spend some time writing an incantation that feels powerful and true to you using the words that you used on this template if you are not able to create your own incantation I have a generic one that you can use I wrote it in the description of this video and I'll share it with you now I am the Sun giving life to me I am creating the world I want to see. I am the sun giving life to me. I am creating the world I want to see. How does that feel to you? If that feels powerful and true to you, feel free to use it. Okay, let's put all the pieces together. Place a tablespoon of honey into your fancy glass or cup. Then add your water, making sure to leave a little room at the top. If you want to add some crystal energy to your honey water, you can always add some sunstone, citrine, or clear quartz, provided that you've already cleansed them ahead of time. Now place your honey water in the very center of your circle. It should cover the spot where all the lines of the cross interconnect. Place your candle in its holder at the top of your circle so that it's touching it. Close your eyes and place both of your hands over your heart space and think of the desire you're giving birth to on this summer solstice. Feel excited about it see yourself enjoying it. Open your eyes and light your candle. together very fast like you're scrubbing something viciously off of your hands but do it very fast in a very rotating manner and then just as they get really hot clap them together as hard as you can to create a loud clap pull your hands apart and then slowly bring your hands together until you start feeling a resistance between them. That resistance is an energy field you just created. Take that energy 
and project it into the circle you just drew. Let it flow into the words you wrote, the candle, and the honey water. Let that energy flow out of your hands and into your intention. Keep a vision of your desire in your mind's eye and speak your incantation out loud at least three times or as long as it feels right to you. When you feel complete, allow your candle to burn down as long as it's safe to do so. It should burn for at least an hour though, no less than that. You can let your honey water sit there until the candle has burned out or you can drink it now. Either way you decide to go, as you drink it, consider it a reverent act, a sacred holy act that you are infusing yourself, your body, with the desire, with the power of the sun, with your incantation, with this huge energy that you're working with. You're now ingesting all of it. Feel empowered by that. Feel inspired for it, by it. And look for opportunities to manifest it. I'm wishing you the brightest blessings on this summer solstice and always.